A survey has taken up 20 high school students. They were asked how many hours of sleep they get on a weeknight. The results are below. Construct a frequency table and histogram. So when asked to construct a frequency table, what we're going to do is list out all of our data and simply mark out how many times it appeared. So looking through the data, let's start with the smallest number, which appears to be a 4. So I'm going to set up my table. One side is going to be for the number of hours of sleep. And the next step, we're going to say what the frequency is of that number. So in other words, how many times it appeared. This so is just setting up a table here. So the smallest number was 4. So 4 appeared once, twice. So 4 has a frequency of 2. Okay, the next number is 5. So that's once, 2, 3, 6 hours. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, the next number is 7. Now well, just as a little side note, let's say 7 didn't appear in the data, you would still need to mark out 7, and you would say that it has a frequency of 0. So make sure that all numbers are accounted for from your smallest number to your largest number. Okay, so that being said, we're still going to look for number 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 8. So 1, 2, 3, and then there is a 9. A lucky student, there's only one of those. So to make sure I didn't miss anything, let me just add up this frequency and I need to get 20. That was the number of students that were surveyed. So 2 plus 3 plus 6 plus 5 plus 3 plus 1 is 20. So when I added all this up, I got everybody. Okay, so this is your frequency table. So what we're going to do is represent this in what's called a histogram. So the number of hours of sleep is going to go on the horizontal axis, and then the frequency is going to go on the vertical axis. So I'm going to set up two axes. Usually the horizontal is going to be longer. And then we're going to set a vertical for frequency. So along the horizontal axis, this is going to be the hours of sleep. And along the vertical is going to be frequency. Okay, so along the horizontal axis, let's just start at your smallest number. So I'm going to put a 4. And then just keep that spacing consistent, so that same length will be for the next number. And then for the frequency, we need to start at 0. So the next one would be 1. And the highest frequency we have is 6, so I'll stop at 6. Okay, so now what we're going to do is draw a bar that represents how many times 4 appeared. So looking at our frequency table, it appeared twice. So for 4, I'm going to draw a bar that has a height of 2. At 5, I'm going to do a bar of height 3, and then at 6, it's going to be a height of 6. Make sure that your bars have the same width as you're going through. 7 has a frequency of 5. Eight has a frequency of three, and nine has a frequency of one. Let's say that one of these numbers of sleep was zero, which means no student had that amount. At that number, you would just have no bar. It would just be empty. Okay, 